Um, organic uh, farming systems are particularly susceptible to fraud. They are labeled um, to guarantee standards. They come at a higher price. And uh, the quality difference of being, being organic is sometimes not visible for the consumer. But um, fraud undermines the consumer um, confidence in, in, in organic products. Um, Professor Elliott, you are an expert on fraud in food systems and the role of science in detecting fraud and preventing fraud. It's a great pleasure having you here at our public event and also to discuss a bit in detail some of the topics around fraud in organic. To begin, um, what do you technically mean by fraud? Yes, <clears throat> so it's an absolute pleasure to be here and, and to talk to you about a, a very controversial, a, a difficult subject. Often I, when I talk to people, I, I, I think it's an, it's an uncomfortable subject because you're talking about people who are cheating, cheating all of us, cheating the, the global food system. And the motivation is about money, to make more money. And instead of trying to produce higher quality, safer products, some people in the world set out to cheat us by trying to trick us, trying to con us, that the product is very high quality, that it has been produced to a particular standard. And organic is a very good example of that. People associate organic with being environmentally sustainable, with treating animals with respect, many, many different attributes. And then there's a willingness to pay additional money for that. And often if I say, you pick up two apples, one on one hand and one on the other, one's organic and one is conventional, you're paying maybe 20% more for one of those apples. How do you know it was organic? And that's the really difficult part of the conversation, mm -hmm. trying to convince people it was produced to organic standards that are internationally recognized. Could you elaborate a bit on what are the particularities of organic food systems in relation to fraud? A lot of what we do within my institute at Queen's University in Belfast, we, we try to set out new science to detect fraud. Mm -hmm. And often the fraud can be very complicated, complex. Uh, criminals tend to be very clever at hiding fraud. But we can develop analytical systems, analytical tools that will detect that fraud. Probably the most difficult fraud to detect is in organic. Because to differentiate what has been produced to organic standards and non-organic standards, sometimes is virtually impossible to do that using science. So we have to use a number of different tools. We have to use checking, audits, inspections, using modern technologies like digital supply chains. But also we have, I think, emerging now some scientific tools which will help catch people who couldn't be caught previously. So fraud, how, how do you think it affects the market into the future? So I think first of all, to understand fraud has been going on for as long as food has been produced. Mm -hmm. So we can go back thousands of years and find documented cases of fraud. What has changed over that period of time is the complexity of the world food supply system. So we really lose sight of, of where our foodstuffs come from. And, and with that loss of sight and loss of knowledge comes lots of opportunities for cheating. So cheating, in my opinion, happens more frequently now than ever before because of the amount of money that can be made. So in terms of, or, of organic, uh, the biggest risk is people losing trust that the organic food that you're buying is truly organic. And now I start to pick up newspaper articles, which is challenging. Is this really organic or not? To me, that's a very dangerous sign. So I think what the organic food industries right across the world have to understand is, yes, they are doing things to a very high level, very high standard, but people will be setting out to cheat them, to use, to exploit their, their, their production systems to make money. So a lot of what we do is we try to, first of all, yes, we, we try to uncover the fraud, but more importantly, we try to develop strategies with industries to prevent it happening in the longer term. Thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to your speech and thank you for this uh, short interview. A pleasure. <laughs>